Hey guys, it's Borker Pairs, and welcome to the Prime Review. So, what happened this past weekend? Well, there's only one place I'm gonna fucking start, and that's with this team, Liverpool. Oh, and Klopp, Klopp, listen, I know you're gonna be looking for a striker, because our strikers are kind of injured prone. I know you're, you have to buy defenders, because our in Defenders are terrible. But, your new main target is a goalkeeper. Because Minouet will tolerate the Bernard match. Seriously, any other keeper catches that, kicks it away. He, he, we keep piling on the pressure for after the goal from Coutinho, and we beat Crystal Palace. But no, Minouet decides, oh, I will do something and only I can do. And it is completely he screw us over. He pushes it straight to Dan. He's like, here you go, Dan. And we don't want to win this match. We don't want that top four spot. We don't want to play good. We want to people to make fun of us. We want people to make fun of us. Because we're so good. Seriously, he pushed it. He, he may as well have thrown it at Dan's head. He may as well have catched it, thrown it at Dan's head like he was playing with a, a dog or some other animal. Oh, oh. And you're trying to make it look like it can do who, some sort of trick. Like, that's, he may as well have done that because it would have been the same stupid result. Liverpool 1, Crystal Palace 2. <sighs> Why? Why? Just why? Why did Minulay do that? Why? Can somebody tell me why? Club. If anything else, you must sign a goalkeeper. Leno. He would be a good shout. He has a release clause at Bar Leverkusen if, his, if reports are to be believed. If, if, it, if he does, freaking trigger it! Laporte has a release clause at LA Bilbao. Oh, buy that some bitch. Hitch, buy good players. We know you can do it. You're not Brendan Rodgers. Here's, here's. But your first and main goal is to replace that rubbish goalkeeper, Herminioli. And while yes, all of you will be saying, didn't weren't you very happy that Minouli signed because he was not Pepe Reina? Yes, I was. But I was not expecting him to be worse than Pepe Reina. Yeah, that's that's a fact. Minule has made more mistakes than Reina. More mistakes than Reina. How do you make more mistakes than Reina? That's that's that that defies logic. Heck. So yeah. And of course Minule he can be dropped because we because who's under him? Tugan! And where did he come from? Bolton in the championship. Seriously, this is our keeping options. These are our keeping options. And seriously, sign a decent keeper. If we have a decent keeper, the defense will improve automatically. Still by the defenders, because our defenders are are terrible. Oh, oh, but buy a new keeper and buy new strikers. There's midfield, leave the midfield. We we play them. Him. Except unless you want to buy a CDM. That that's something Brendan Rogers neglected to do. He didn't think we needed a CDM. But yeah, go for that. But yeah. Oh. The only saw this is that at the weekend almost every other big team was rubbish. Man City drew nil nil with Aston Villa. I really liked what Villa fans was holding up inflated snakes towards that dumb cunt Delph. Well, Sterling, you better wait and see what we hold up to you when you show up next weekend. And and oh wait, see you at home. Still, the away fans will hold up something, and and it won't be flattering. And expect to get a lot of booze, Sterling. A lot of them. But I'll, I'll, we'll get to that when we play City. 
E. After the international break. But, yeah, C. Nil nil with Villa. Huh. Huh. Then we go to Arsenal, who had the best chance to go top of the table. And if Arsenal had gone top of the table, well, 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 all they would have to do is keep winning and they would win the title. But what, what happens? Kane buries it in the back of the net. And Arsenal. Because Koscielny decided to play like a Liverpool defender for a game. He must have gotten confused with the red. It he must have been like, is this a Liverpool jersey? It, it might be. I think it's a Liverpool jersey, which contractually obligates me to play terrible. Oh. So, yeah. Koscielny just practically lets Kane walk past him and boom. Hmm. Check it. Despite being a good keeper, isn't saving that. And Arsenal were only saved by a mes also a breaking Thierry Henry's assist record, or, or for most for assists in in consecutive games. Pretty much, he's doing in assists what Jamie Vardy is trying to do in goals. We'll get to Jamie Vardy in a second. But Mezzo crosses it in, and, and Gibbs, who was brought on randomly by Venker to be, he had this difference maker. I, I'd say after that, put him up front, because Giroud was useless. Giroud, who Christian Benteke missed a chance for Liverpool. Giroud had about five or six chances that he should have put in, and he missed. Each and every one of them. What? Wenger, this is why everyone was telling you to sign a striker in, in the summer. But you didn't listen. You have to buy one in January after seeing that. Surely. He, or there will be no title for you. And, it, and with how bad you play in the Champions League. If you don't win the title, you'll probably get sacked. Which... Arsenal fans might look as a consolation prize. He's, yeah, we didn't win the title, but Baker got sacked, so now something new. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Let's move on to the other London club who didn't perform as well as they should have. Chelsea. Chelsea finally started to show what they were made of. They were really good against Stoke. You could see glimpses of the team that Chelsea used to be last season. And it looked like they were almost back to their best. But Arnautovic said, mm, Yeah, no, I'm going to volley this in the net and we're going to win. And that's exactly what happened. And, and funny enough. <laughs> so yeah, Arnautovic, bang! Very good go home. Oh, mind you, he's a very good player, is on that of it. It's and uh, yeah, three points for Stoke, and I lost from Mourinho. But if that result, if that game is anything to go by, Chelsea won't be bad too much longer. They're, they're slowly but surely getting back to business. Not in terms of results, but in terms of the players, they seem to be getting there. So yeah, Chelsea, almost back to the best, maybe? Yeah. We'll see. On to Manchester United, who were really the only big team to win. Because, see, Ian Arsenal drew, Chelsea lost, and Liverpool lost. So yeah, it was a good weekend for boring, boring Man United. It goes from Lingard and Massa. Lingard, the goal to uh, put on his resume, he, he, so he can say, in my time as a Man United player, I did in fact score one goal. Oh, oh. Did I get much more chances after that? We'll see. And of course, one matter buried the penalty. He to give, if. United the 2-0 win. 
Uh, West Brom had a player sent off in the last minute, but of course, last minute doesn't really affect anything. The two goals were in by then, and it was clear. You know, they were going to win, and there was going to be no stopping that. So yeah, man, yeah, they were the big winners at the weekend. And even though, well, they weren't the only team to win. Speaking of teams who won, we go straight to Leicester, who are quite quickly becoming the the informed team to beat in the Premier League. And who thought any of us would say that at the start of the season? Goals from Kate, it, sorry, Kant. Am I saying that right? K a n t e. I hope I said that name right. And of course, Jamie Vardy. He, he. It's it's funny though because Vardy doesn't take Leicester's penalties. Morris gave him the penalty. Morris takes Leicester's penalties, but Morris obviously said hit himself. Hang on a second. I'm going to be nice to my buddy, Jamie Vardy. He's trying to break that Ruva Nistoroi record. He has to score to do that. A penalty is a really good chance to score it. A goal. Oh, oh. So he gives Vardy the penalty. Vardy doesn't make any mistakes and he buries it. Two me. Oh, less the thing. Job done. Uh, ten minutes later, they consider their own penalty and Troy Deeney gets what turned out to be a consolation, but it was a goal nonetheless. It's in yeah. Two one Leicester. Can Leicester keep this up? No. Not all season anyway. Can they keep it up long enough for Vardy and Morris to be eventually sold in the January transfer window? Yeah Of course they can. Because you know that's what's going to happen. Vardy and Morris will be picked up by any his he he hungry team with money. Hopefully not Liverpool because while they're very good players, there's we made that mistake with someone like Vardy before or in Ricky Lambert, and we he he really he would prefer her to not. Increase the strength of our m- midfield. Well, unless it's a CDM, we really don't need it in our midfielder. Some people would argue we need a winger. Look, I'm not going to get into that. I'll get into that in a whole different video. Oh, you know I'm doing a, tra- a transfer rumors video. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, hello, do you know what the most viewed video on my channel is? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Anyway, let's go to the battle of the two, who of the three, or four if you count Spurs, uh, five if you count Stoke. Hmm. The two who teams, teams, who you would, uh, the two red and white teams. The two teams who were in red and white stripes. Sunland and Southampton. So Sunderland were, were hanging on by a, by a thread. Imagine I'm holding onto some shred of some sort. But Tadic came along, pair of scissors, snip, and they fell. <laughs> that, 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 that is pretty much what happened and and and, and, and br- Poor Sam Allardyce. He's, you could see he thought they were going to hold on, and then some each. I, um, I, f- I forget who conceded the foul, but some each concedes the foul, and Tadic buries the penalty. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's just you could see his reaction. Is like, no, why, why? We were so close. <laughs> But yeah, Sunland this weekend, not so good, considering they lost. And this allows me to quickly go to the black and white side of Newcastle to Newcastle. Because, why not? 
They beat Bournemouth 1-0 after a goal from AOZ Perez. This little cheeky bugger. <laughs> so Perez is obviously saying, hang on a second. Yeah, Mitrovic can score a lot of goals and he's big and he's, he's a stander. Oh, from a crab player because he's so big. He, he, unless he's in a crowd with Ibrahim Hitrina. Hold on, Pierre Crouch. <laughs> I also want to stand out. But I'm going to do that with football talent. And, uh, and Perez did that by scoring the winner. For Gim in, in Newcastle, a very lucky win over Bournemouth. Uh, they, yes, they were, uh, they were, he had, some of their dominance against, like they had against um, Sunland in, in the Bournemouth game, but but Bournemouth were very good. Bournemouth were very solid until the Paris goal went in. But Bournemouth shouldn't be feel too bad at, that they he fell to a narrow loss. They should pick themselves up to, and just get back on track and. Focus on their next game. Okay, so, it's, it's not the end of the world. Hold. Just be thankful the other teams around you are, are also very bad. And just. As long as Chelsea here ever, and Sunland aren't winning, you're good. <laughs> and we come to another team who. And since I mentioned Chelsea, I'm gonna go to a team. Who also apparently their manager is in trouble, and that is Gary Monk at Swansea. Everyone was praising Gary Monk over the last as season, and for how great he was doing at Swansea. He put a uh, yeah, Swansea's results haven't been the best as of late, but apparently he might get sacked. If Gary Monk gets sacked before. Or Jose Mourinho. Or there's something wrong with the Swansea board. Saying that, they gave Brendan Rodgers a job. So, yeah, that, that, that doesn't sound very good. That doesn't point to intelligence. Brendan Rodgers shouldn't get any job. At all. Oh. Just, why? Still, why? Look, I'm... And uh, it didn't help Swansea that they lost to Norwich. Uh, newly promoted side, Swansea, he, they know that. They've been there. So, yeah. I, Swansea, no, stay with Gary Monk and he will turn it around. I think he's a really good manager. Would I have one? Tim at Liverpool if something ever happened? No. Well. Or too big for a guy like Gary Monk. Let him get some experience under his belt, then he'll be ready for a big club. Oh, but no. So yeah. Oh, Swansea lost to Norwich. But if Swansea shouldn't pull the trigger on Gary Monk, they should stick by him and he'll get him through this. And we come to Everton, who drew 1-1 with uh, West Ham at, at uh, Upton Park, or the Bowling Ground, or whatever the hell it's called. It seems to have about five different names for some reason. So I'm just going to call it Upton Park. I'm sure West Ham fans won't be too mad. And if you are, I'm sorry, but I call it Upton Park. And should next season you're moving anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? So I'm going to call it Upton Park from now on. And until you move, I won't call it your stadium anything else. Because it's, it's it's the same place. But yeah. Then, see, he who's a decent little player. Or, or a good player for West Ham. And sorts of in a nice cheeky goal. Or assisted by big man Andy Carroll. Who... But it it West Ham were crushed by 
big Belgian man, Mr. Roman Lukaku. And yeah, three points flushed down the toilet. It could have been worse. You could have lost. At least this time you got a point. Unlike against Watford. I'm sorry, I won't. He, I mean, I can't really. He he poke any fun at he for losing to Watford. He be us. So yeah, there's that. Um, is that everyone? Hang on a second. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's all the uh, weekend games. Thankfully, now there's an international break, and we can all just relax. So, that is what happened at the weekend. Um, few side notes. Um, David Moyes was sacked from Real Sociedad, so that was pretty hilarious. Wayne Rooney. He. You guys know I'm a big fan of WWE. Wayne Rooney went to the Manchester uh, Money Out Raw this uh, last night, and he slapped Barrett. Are they actually gonna build this up? Are, is Wayne Rooney actually gonna step foot in a WWE ring? Because I'd actually pay to see that. If anything, just so Wayne gets a boom, ball hammer. To his dopey face. Maybe his hair will fly off. It will be hilarious. And uh, Patrick Vieira has become the new manager of New York City. He. FC. So, yeah. It's pretty much all, all that happened over the weekend and yesterday. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, one side note. There was a positive that came out of the Liverpool game against Crystal Palace. Sacco got injured. So, job. We'll actually be playing our good centre-backs for a change. In, in Skirtle and, and Lovren. Oh, yes. They didn't exactly play good for that second goal. That's beside the point. Sacco isn't exactly better. He wouldn't have made a much difference. He wouldn't stop that gun in. It was all in here. But yeah. So, Rooney's getting into fights. He's Moyes sacked again. And Vieira's got his first official managerial job. Unless you count managing C's reserves. Or was it down the 21s? Either or. I, I don't think anyone does. And, uh, yeah. And all the, uh, previously mentioned football results. So, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all after the international break. Well, I won't. For the next Prem Review, that is. I'll see you tomorrow for the review of tomorrow, of course. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, so Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be out tomorrow. And make sure and check out my button. My Borussia Mönchengladbach crew mode that's already he up. He, and make sure and check out oh, the designer of my new thumbnails. I haven't got the one for this yet, so it's still just going to see probably me or the Liverpool Crest. Anyway, peace.